Hey, Nicholas, and those hand issues he's having, how much of a concern is that for you right now? Uh, well, obviously, he hasn't finished some sacks. I mean, he's played well. He played a heck of a football game the other day. Uh, you know, just had an opportunity to finish. Yeah, it's an issue. Uh, you play, you talk to any football player, particularly defensive guys that use their hands. I mean, we're allowed to do that defensively. And so, uh, you know, it's frustrating for him. And, uh, you know, but um, we we'll just keep working through it. Is there anything he can do at all to compensate for that? Well, they've got fingers wrapped up. You know, uh, you know, just he's got to do a better job, I think, without being used to that. He's got to clamp on a little bit tighter with his arms more so. Uh, obviously, because of his fingers, he's just not getting enough strength through him, I guess. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's something that we work on every day. And, uh, uh, you know, it's just uh, it's, it's the dangest thing I've ever seen. So this year for him, you know, he's, he's been in good position. He's, he's got some good pressure, um, you know. So... We don't want to dwell on too much, kind of like a guy that's, uh, you know, fumbles. You know, you start talking about too much, next thing you know, he's fumbling all the time. So we're just going to keep playing hard and work to finish plays. It doesn't rise to the. It doesn't rise to the point of where you can't play him because. No, he it's can't not finish. to that. No, it's not because he takes on blocks right there, and I mean, he finishes a lot of plays. You know, he just he's, you know, the uh, he's just had a chance to. Uh, he, he's missed a couple of plays in the, in, at the quarterback position right there. You sense any frustration on his part? Oh, uh, I don't know. You probably talk to Charlie. You're going to see him there in a second, you know, so you can ask him, you know. But he a little bit. I saw it last week a little bit. But, you know, he's got to understand, too, that he's he's got to, he's, he's putting himself in position. Let's go. Let's let's see what we can do to make it better, you know. And, uh, and uh, part of it is getting your head across the bow and wrapping up and running your feet and not trying to pull people away. And that's those are – that's what we got to do on that instead of pulling and where maybe that's not your strength right now with your with you know bad hands it seems like every year we come here duke has like fewest sacks allowed in the acc is that just throwing it quick is that part of their scheme or it's what part it's, it's part of they're well coached um that was part of our success last year is you know they they were led the country i think in minus your least amount of minus yardage plays and that type of thing we played on their side and they're, I think they're up to the top again this year. Um, that's coaching, you know, the type of scheme they run. And then, you know, the quarterback is getting rid of the football. I mean, they know where to go. They're checking down. This guy, actually, this guy's probably throwing to the backs more than, you know, any new quarterback they've had in the past in a while. And um, those guys combined are their leading receivers, you know, when it's all said and done. So uh, uh, the, he just knows where to go. Uh, they're, they're good about, I mean, they're a check with me, you know, so if they see something, they're going to check to get rid of, you know, to another, you know, look. So, um, you know, that's, that's just part of what they do, and, and they do a good job with it, you know, and, they, and they, they've got a system. Uh, you know, Dave Cutcliffe and his, his staff, they've got a system, and they do a great job with it, just like us with the system. I think, oh, you know, we've got a system that, uh, you know, for the most part every year it's not going to be exactly what you want, but you've got an idea how, you know, how to fix it or, you know, where people should fit. and how to react to certain things, and that's what they do. And they've got a great system. He's been doing it for a long, long time. Is there an update on Corey Marshall? What did he do today? Uh, I don't know. I didn't see Corey Horlock today. You know, what I, I was looking, I was working with my linebackers trying to get those guys right. Uh, you can ask Charlie in there, but, you know, we got to, we'd love to get him back because his quickness and, uh, you know, experience in there would, would be very beneficial for us to get the, get him back. What's your concern with the linebackers? Is there something specific that you were No, no, no. You know, we just uh, – I'm looking, uh, you know, you got Deion Clark, and right now the next guy probably is Tremaine Edmonds and uh, working with him. Uh, uh, you know, I'm trying to get him where maybe he's going to be in a position where he can play a little bit. I want to get a good evaluation from him and, and you know, maybe get, he's a big, long, athletic body, and he's done a nice job on special teams. And, and uh, you know, there's an issue. Deion misses practice on Wednesday, so he misses a lot of the work. And... Uh, you know, so I want to get this guy as close as he can that, uh, you know, he can be consistent. You know, and I think, I think Dion's a, been a good player for us last year. I uh, had high expectations this year, but I think missing a day has made him a little inconsistent, which is concerns me. Is that, that a class, class thing? thing? It's like, a class thing, yes. Like Molly had last year. Yeah, on yeah it's a class. you got to have that to get a degree. And, you know, we want all of our, our young men to, to graduate and go on to be successful after, after football. So.